afternoon. My name is Teresa Aditi. Uh, I'm a professor at the Southeast European University at the law faculty. I teach criminal law there. And I will moderate this session. So uh, first of all, let me present the, uh, the, all of the experts who will uh, present in, in this session, very important one. Our topic will uh, be human rights challenges, access to rights and protection of refugees and migrants on the Western Balkan group. So in this session, uh, Ura <laughs> okay, Elena uh, Brondeska will uh, speak in the name of Helsinki Committee. Okay. Uh, Merci Asmailovic from Levis, Blaze Kojewski from uh, UNHC, and Emily Teslier from France. Um, first of all, let me say that uh, the testimony that we heard in this video was particularly uh, hard to, uh, how to, say, to, to follow uh, because it's uh, really sad that people really have to undergo so much suffering uh, to escape from other sufferings and to be treated like that very inhumanely. It's really unreasonable, unreasonable and simply a uh, normal person cannot understand it. Uh, uh, for, uh, uh, unfortunately, that's the end of a video. And it, it might be long, it might be short, but that's not an end of the sufferings that people uh, feel during their route to uh, migrate from, from these uh, countries where they have uh, very big problems. And uh, unfortunately, more people face this kind of suffering every day, even in our territory and elsewhere. And that's something very sad. And uh, I hope we can do something more. But unfortunately, the, um, uh, all the cases that we've seen in, this, in these occasions have just shown us how humanity has failed in, uh, in protecting refugees and in protecting migrants and other people who escape from terror and who escape from, from suffering. And instead, they, they, they follow other, other sufferings too. So that's really sad, and I hope that we can do together more, and that at least we can support people who work in this field. So as I said, uh, the aim of this, um, of this session is to establish what kind of threats people face on the Western Balkans route, using regular and irregular means of transit. Uh, do Western Balkan countries have mechanisms through which they can provide protection for the migrant population? Uh, is there a way to protect the people from organized crime groups, as we have seen in this, uh, in this video and in other videos too? And what kind of practices uh, are noticed in the field and what is the institutional response to those uh, practices? I will, uh, I, uh, I'm sure we will hear a lot of interesting thoughts and a lot of interesting experiences shared by our panelists today. So without any further ado, I would like to uh, present uh, our first speaker. I don't have a line from you, but <laughs> okay, we can we can go on and continue, and then uh, we will have a discussion in the 